New York Times, deep concern about Joe Biden's 2024 political viability. Oh, now y'all concerned? Y'all y'all put in, y'all installed a walking corpse and, and that that's destroying the country and, and now all of a sudden you're concerned? <laughs> but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And it's a um, link to my merch store, my mental health coaching and consultation page. All right, let's talk about the news. The Democrat allied New York Times published a damning article Saturday that called into question President Biden's 2024 political viability because the nation is completely falling apart. Um, we, I mean, it's... I mean, I, I I tried to warn I tried to warn people before uh, they was pushing for Joe Biden. I tried to warn people uh, what was going to happen to this country, but it fell on deaf ears. And, and now look look at the fruit that's that is bearing. But after the time spent most of 2020 defending and aiding Biden's 2020 chances of defeating Donald Trump, the paper has now issued a stark warning about Biden's quote age and his capability to take the fight to former President Donald J. J. Trump a second time. <laughs> Predictions on old age, lack of excitement, and quote, this is what they say, quote, regret and anxiety. The paper outlined the Democrats' fear of Biden again running for, um, for president, but this time with a failing track record. <laughs> this is hilarious. This article is super hilarious. Um, I'm, I love it. I'm not going to lie. But the Times pointed to numerous failures by the president, such as 40-year high inflation, record high gas prices, high crime, and multiple losses in the culture wars, such as abortion and the stalled, radical, far-left proposals within the Build Back Better package. I mean, it's just fail after fail after fail. Quote, interviews with nearly 50 Democratic officials, from county leaders to members of Congress, as well as um, with disappointed voters who backed Mr. Biden in 2020, revealed a party alarm about Republicans rising strength and extraordinary pessimistic about an immediate path forward, the Times acknowledged. As the challenges facing the nation mount and um, fatigued-based voters show low enthusiasm, Democrats in union meetings, um, the back rooms of Capitol Hill and party gatherings from coast to coast are quietly worrying about Mr. Biden's leadership, his age, and his capability. And this is the this is the time saying this. This is crazy. This is sound like something that that I would be saying. But again, I've been warning them from from the beginning about all this crap. But Democrat National Committee member Steve Simodonis or Simi Simi Donis or however you pronounce his name. I'm sorry. I know I'm chopping it up, but he told the Times, the nation is not on the right track as a result. Biden should not seek 2024 nomination. This is hilarious. Quote, to say our country was on the right track would flagrantly depart from reality, uh, Simone said. Biden should announce his intent not to seek re-election in 24, right after the midterms. I, I don't think, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think back into history and I don't think I ever heard um, someone say that someone should announce an intent not to seek re-election. I don't think I ever heard anyone say that about any president ever. But a Democrat congressional candidate told the Times Democrats are dazed about the direction of the country. She also noted the lack of Democrat enthusiasm heading into the, 2020, the 2022 midterms when Republicans are expected to win the House. It's going to be a shellacking. Democrats are like, what the hell is going on? Jasmine Crocker said, our country is completely falling apart. And so I think we're lacking in excitement. Still, there is no consensus among Democrats about who might replace Biden as a leader of the Democratic Party. The Times floated many names, yet each person named lost to Biden in 2020 in the 2020 Democrat primary. Biden has promised to run in 2024, perhaps because if he did um um if he did not it would reduce his political capital but biden political capital is currently in bad shape only 73 percent of democrats approve of biden's job performance uh and only 48 percent of democrats want biden to run in 2024 
according to a recent polls cited by the Times. But um, I, I think it's less than than seventy three percent. But that's that's off of their polls. I, I mean, this is this is funny. That's going. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I like the, what's going on right now. Don't like the way the direction the country is heading, like everyone else. But you know, we try to warn them beforehand. We try to tell them what was going on. The people was like, "Oh, orange man bad." So let me vote for this old uh, 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 corpse here to try to get Trump, try to get Trump out. But you know, even though I think it was some chicanery going on with with that election anyway. But you know, we can't we can't get into that right now on this platform. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.